Welcome to Huts of New Zealand. In this series I will travel to backcountry huts all around New Zealand to record, review and rate my experiences to give you a better idea of what to expect when you go hiking around our beautiful country. Today I'm tramping to Upper Furunaki Hut, a nine bunk standard hut within Furunaki Te Pua Atane Conservation Park in the North Island of New Zealand. I tramped into the hut from the River Road car park just south of Manganui after staying at Central Furunaki Hut, so check out that video if you haven't already. Upper Furunaki Hut is more easily accessible from the Plateau Road car park if you plan on only visiting this hut. But to get there, you'll have to navigate many kilometres of gravel forestry roads from either River Road near Minganui or Pohukura Road off State Highway 5. You'll most likely also need a four-wheel drive, as these roads are rarely ever maintained. The Plateau Road car park lies on the edge of the Furunaki Forest Park, surrounded by ancient native forests on one side, and a never-ending plantation of pine trees on the other side. There's a toilet here, and a small shelter at the start of the track, with seating and information signs. I always take a photo of the signs to keep the information with me while I'm tramping. Remember to lock your vehicle before setting off and don't leave any valuables behind. From here, the track to Upper Furunaki Hut is relatively short and easy, travelling 4.5 kilometres with about 200 metres of climb, taking me just under 2 hours. It's mostly downhill, with only a few short climbs and 450 metres of descent. The track is well formed and easy to follow, suitable for most trampers. Travelling mostly through beach forests, there are a few great lookout points and limited cell phone reception along the tops. There's a few steep sections and the odd tree across the track, but it's an otherwise pleasant walk along a great track. Also look out for Onga Onga, a nasty stinging nettle that'll leave your skin tingling for days. It's best you avoid contact with it, so maybe consider wearing long sleeves and pants. After about an hour and a half, you'll drop down to the bottom of the valley and pass a track junction leading back to the central Furunaki Hut. For the last kilometre, you'll have to follow the Furunaki River upstream, requiring a few river crossings, but possible to do without getting wet feet. And after a bit of water and mud, you'll emerge onto a large open clearing, and on the other side, you'll see Upper Furunaki Hut. Upper Furunaki Hut was likely built in the 1960s by the New Zealand Forestry Service as a six bunk SF70 hut. It has since been renovated by DOC and is now maintained by the Rotorua branch of the New Zealand Deerstalkers Association. The standard hut now has nine bunks along the back wall, a small bench top, a table with chairs, a wood stove, drying lines, candle holders, shelves and a roof skylight. Outside there's hooks and seating under the large veranda which wraps around the side of the hut to the roof filled water tank where you'll find a sink and a tap. You could also fill up from the river behind the hut if you wanted, but either way it's advised you boil or filter water before use. Around the hut there's also a picnic table, a new woodshed with tools, a meat safe somewhere behind the trees, and a nifty composting toilet. Don't forget toilet paper. There's lots of room to enjoy in the large clearing out front, and the hut gets a generous amount of sunlight throughout the year. After I got to the hut, I sat on the veranda and made some lunch, enjoying the warmth of the sun and the tranquility of the peaceful forest. There's no cell phone reception at the hut, so no distractions from the awesome outdoors. It's also a really popular spot for hunters, and a few arrive throughout the afternoon having not had any luck that day. The area is home to red deer, and you'll likely come across deer sign along the tracks. I even spooked a couple when I went for a walk not far from the hut, and of course they got away before I could get a good camera shot. As it started to cool down, I prepared my backcountry cuisine, sat down for dinner, and had some yarns with the others. And after day turned to dark, I got in my sleeping bag and went to bed for the night. Remember to have good hut etiquette, and be quiet and considerate of others. And of course, remember to bring earplugs in case of snoring. I had a pretty good sleep and awoke to a bit of rain in the morning. I sat on the veranda and enjoyed a coffee before packing up my stuff and getting ready for the day. Remember to sign into the hut logbook and leave the hut tidy by sweeping the floors before you go. I continued on my loop track, heading north for 8km to Mangamate Hut where I spent the third and final night of my trip. There's lots of other huts and tracks within the Furunaki Forest Park so it's worth exploring for a few days to get the full experience. 
Behind Upper Funaki Hut begins the trek to Upper Te Hoi Hut, which is part of the 5 day 78km Te Pua Atane circuit. Otherwise, if you're stretched for time, you can simply return to the Plateau Road car park. I had a pretty decent time, and I think Upper Furunaki Hut is a very cool place to visit. It is a little bit rough around the edges, the inside could do with a new paint job, and it's a shame it's not insulated, but it is in mostly good condition, and the addition of the new woodshed and seating shows that people care a lot about this hut. It's also a bit difficult to access, being a long drive into the Plateau Road car park or a long walk in from the River Road car park, but it's a beautiful part of the forest park and an ideal stop during a multi-day walk. Overall, I'd give Upper Furunaki Hut 3 stars. More geared towards hunters, it is a neat hut which does its job well. The hut is open to anyone on a first in first serve basis all year round. Check out the DOC website in the description below for more information on prices and how to pay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of the Huts of New Zealand. Hello there, Robin. What are you doing? What's that? What's that?